Hey guys and welcome to another building session. My name is Guan and today I thought I would be showing you the boxing system in Cray. The boxing system is incredibly cool and really really useful. You can use it to share different creations you made make with the rest of the community. You can also use it yourself to have the same mechanic in multiple levels. It is just a really nice feature to, to make sure that if you create something that is really cool, it is not only selected for a specific game, but can be used across everything you create. Now, let's start. Alright, so, I would really like to make a an extending bridge. I've done this before, but I would like to show you guys how this works. Let's start by enabling the rotate grid and place another primitive. We need them to kind of snap together, so let's scale them both at the same time until they reach each other. This way, when we place another one, it's going to be in direct, directly after the other one. Okay, so let's raise it a little bit. Let's just change the color of the first one. And let's get some gameplay props going. The giant rotator is the first one. I'm going to put it more or less right here and it should start in 0 and end in 90. And let's set a low transition time and let's give it a smooth effect. Yes. Now let's just rotate this one like so and let's glue the primitive to the joint rotator so that it does this. Perfect. Now let's take those two, the joint rotator and the primitive, copy it and place a couple of extra down the line, like so. However, when we do it like this, the rest doesn't really follow, so we have to glue the joint rotator onto the previous platforms so that it follows along. Cool. Now we want this to happen when the player stands on the platform or gets close to the platform, so we're going to place a sensor. And we're going to change it from sphere to a box. Alright, so let's decrease the radius a little bit here, mm, like that, and let's just add another layer here so we have can create a player. Alright, and let's take a start point. Cool. So, when the player runs into this sensor, we want to send power to the giant rotator, because we want it to extend towards him. Now we can do a freeze reset so that everything goes back in on point. Um, but we don't want the rest of the joints to, to extend immediately. We kind of want to delay them a little bit. So let's place a timer. Now the timer is really useful when you're doing anything that requires time, funnily enough. And that could be a countdown or in our case here we have to wait for something. So instead of powering directly to the joint, we're going to go through the timer. And the timer should wait for one second. It should not show it in the UI. And then it should send power to the joint. And we want almost the same on the last timer. However, it should wait two seconds before unfolding, before sending power to this one. Cool. So this should give a pretty nice effect when we run into it. Like that. A bridge that unfolds itself. However, it also goes back which is not what we want. We want it to stay like that forever. Alright, cool. So we made a really cool mechanic here that we think, hey, I can use this in another level and I really want to show my friends this. So let's box it up. I'm going to place a boxing object. I'm just going to highlight everything. Hold, hold control down and deselect the box and deselect the character. And then I'm going to press B. B for box. And box it like that. And now we have a box. Just like that, that we can copy. Alright, let's go to the boxing menu. Let's add it to our library. And let's call it um, Extending Bridge. And I'm going to write in the description, this is the third time I've made this bridge. <laughs> and I'm going to make it private like that and I'm gonna add it to the library. So if I go to the library you can see the two previous attempts and the third one. So here we are. Now 
this is a nice bridge and all, it's all very good, but I'm not quite happy with it. So let's move the character into the sensor so that it kind of goes back. Let's color some stuff here. Just give it different nuances of gray. Oh, I almost hit the same color, which was not completely intentional. Like that. And let's add some detail here. So let's go to the gray library, primitives, uh, not the sphere, sorry. The cylinder. Let's rotate the cylinder, scale it a little bit. Let's add one here and let's add one here. Now I want them to be a bit darker. Very nice. And let's copy them and let's add them here at each section. All right, so these new cylinders, of course, also has to have to be part, part of the box. So now they're part of the box, but they also need to follow when we start rotating. And therefore we need to glue them to the previous platform. Like that. So now everything is glued neatly together and boxed neatly together. And I can press 9. And when I go here, it kind of unfolds and looks a little bit better, a little bit cooler. So let's say I kind of prefer my new version of the box. It's better. I've spent some more time on it. I'm going to go to the update in library. I'm going to say version 2 just because that's cool. I'm going to still keep it as a private box. It's not ready to be shared with the public yet. I want to improve it even more. But for now, let's press update. And when we go to the boxing menu and take the third extending bridge here, you can see it has the same visual style. It has these cylinders that we added and it has been updated in the library. So guys, this is a very very nice way to create small gameplay elements that you can use yourself or you can share with the community, share with me, share with everyone else. Um, I can't wait to see what boxes you create in the coming time in Cray and this is it for me and I will see you in the next video.